All right, Raider peeps, I'm coming at you with another video. Uh, I haven't made one in a while about about Raiders, anything to do with the Raiders in a while. But I figured I'd you know give you guys a little update right now on the, how the Raiders free agency is going. Um, it's been a little strange. <laughs> it's been strange letting the uh, I know I let Rodney Hudson go, but that's not really on. You can't really blame the organization for letting him go. He asked to be released, and the Raiders granted him that wish. You know, what I mean, you can't just say, "Well, I don't know what the Raiders are doing." They're, they're letting him go. Like he asked for it. It's not like they just went up to him and said, "You know what? We're releasing you just because we don't want to have a good center." You know, we want we want to go young, and you're proven, but we we don't want to pay you. No, <laughs> he asked for it. So I understand that. But as far as like the Gabe Jackson situation, they're just trying to clear a cap with him. I guess they tried to restructure a contract and he took that as a slap in the face. They didn't like it. So, but he's not officially released yet. So maybe they might actually, they're trying to squeeze them right now. They're trying to, yeah, I know what the freaking, what they're trying to do is let the, let the market go down on them and all these other teams sign players their their cap will be dropping, and then they can say, okay, well, we can release you now. And then it's like, all right, might as well sign now with you guys since nobody else has cap. And you know what I mean? They're trying to squeeze them right now for, which he's a good player. I don't want them to release him in the first place. Freaking, he's good. And by the way, he has the same birthday as me. So, but from draft day, from when we drafted him, going into that draft, I wanted us to draft him. I wanted us to draft him. I kept saying. Hope we draft Gabe Jackson. When we drafted him, I was freaking happy because I was like, we got a freaking good guard that's going to still be be there for a while. And this happens, and I'm like, come on, man. I mean, you guys talking about Russell Wilson wanting to trade for him, and, you know, he's looking at the Raiders like, all right, they got a good offensive line. And then now you gut our offensive line. He's probably looking at this like, I don't know if I want to get traded over there now. Freaking Hudson's gone. Cognito's gone. The traded Trent Brown, Frank, <laughs> released Gabe Jackson. The only one guy we still got left is Colton Miller. Although Colton Miller is good, he was he was a good draft. He was a good pick. But um, all in all, this this has been a weird off season. Uh, yeah, we got Yannick, which is two year, twenty six mil. That's freaking awesome. Thirteen million a year. That's cheap for a player of his caliber. I mean, I'm surprised. Now, I know he's not that great against the run, and he's pretty much just a pass rusher, but that's we got a good deal on him. That was sweet. And we just picked up John Brown for, what is it, a one-year $3.75 million contract with the potential of being going up to 5.5, you know, with incentives, um, which is a good deal. That tells me right there that I'm thinking this is what Mayock and Gruden's thinking. All right, if we can get Nelson Aguilar last year, make him look really good. What do you think? What do you think they're thinking about John Brown? You know, they're thinking the same thing. They're probably thinking we could get John Brown cheap. Derek Carr is going to make him look good, put up good numbers. We don't need um, eighteen million dollar a year wide receivers. Maybe you know, maybe that's what they're thinking. Like we don't need expensive wide receivers to get good good production, especially when you got a good quarterback. If you got a quarterback like Derek Carr that can make you look good, why go spend big when I mean I'm not saying that I mean this this can happen all the time where you spend cheap and just get good results. But that tells you how good a quarterback Derek Carr really is. He can make an average or a guy with some potential, maybe he brings up the best in that guy. Like John Brown, we know before Stephon Diggs got there, he was their number one guy, right? And he had pretty good seasons with Buffalo. So maybe they're thinking, you know, he has that capability of where he can, he can ball out and we can get him for cheap. So my thinking is the Raiders just might maybe thinking, we, we could just go cheap on offense. Cause we still got Derek Carr, Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs. We got the main pieces. And then Derek Carr can make some of the other pass catches look really good. So if our, if our offense could stay afloat and spend most of that money on the defense, which I, I completely, I'm on board with that. I don't want them to do that. I don't want them to go spend a lot of money on offense because we know our offense is capable of winning shootouts. We did it before. 
granted, we had a, a better O line, and but I mean, maybe they're thinking, okay, we had a top tier O line and still not winning. How about we just, I hate to say it, but like gut the O line, try to get guys that can st stop gaps on our O line that can be serviceable, not trash, but serviceable, and spend all our cap on defense because look at what the Tampa Bay Bucks did to Kansas City. They freaking shut his ass down. Mahomes couldn't do shit. Granted, Casey's offensive line was banged up, but I I think that even if they had a good, like say Mitchell Schwartz and Eric Fisher was there, I still think that would have happened because that's how good Tampa's defense is. They're just suffocating. And I kind of want them to go all out. I want them to go all out on defense. I don't, this is what I want them to do. Okay, we got Yannick, right? I want us to sign up, go sign a, a top tier, strong safety, whatever's left. I know we got Malik Hooker and Anthony Harris. I wanted John Johnson, but he's gone. But he would he he would have cost a lot. And I, so, as far as maybe get Anthony Harris, I'm not sure what what he would cost. Um, but I, I spend most of that money on defense. Like if it, like hear me out. Say we say we signed a Malik Hooker, you know, maybe maybe somebody a little bit cheaper than Harris. I think Hooker might be cheaper than Harris. Say we signed Hooker, uh Sherman, Patrick Peterson, and Melvin Ingram. Just say we did that. Dude, our <laughs> our off our freaking defense would be tr immensely better. And the fact that we still got Yannick. So say we got Hooker, Patrick Peterson, Richard Sherman. And I know people are thinking, why would you sign two corners? We got Trayvon Mullen. And Mullen and Damon Arnett can learn from Sherman and Patrick Peterson. They can watch two guys. I, some people say, well, that'll stun his growth. No, because he'll be tr learning from them guys. Yeah, he might not get as many reps, but mental, mentally, he'll be getting a lot of information from Richard Sherman and Patrick Peterson, like, he could ask both, and, and not just one guy. Like, if we just get Sherman and not Patrick Peterson, he could just ask only Sherman. You know, maybe he might take something away from Sherman. Maybe he can go to ask Patrick Peterson, or he could take something away from him as well. So it's not just one. I mean, and the fact that maybe they'll play good as a combination, Patty P and, and Sherman. I like that, man. I want us to go all out on defense. And I know what you're thinking. We still got, what about the defensive tackle spot? And that's why you got the draft. And I know what people are thinking. We could draft an offensive lineman. I'd say either draft an offensive lineman or or tackle or D tackle in with the first pick. Like Christian Barmore, you know, you're getting a great D tackle. Or you can go O line with that pick. I mean either way. I I imagine this NASCAR defensive lineup. You got Melvin Ingram on one side, Yannick on the other side. And you got our two normal starting DNs would have been Max Crosby and Cleveland. Kick them inside. You have four of them on the line. God. Imagine that. Imagine having them guys as our four pass rushers. And then you still got Patty P and Sherman on the outside. With our linebackers in the middle, you know, Kwiatkowski, is, I like him. I like Nick Kwiatkowski. He's a good linebacker. Maybe, you know, Corey Littleton, hopefully, he started to play better at the end of last season, but maybe he could pick up on that and keep that going. You know, Nicholas Morrow had a pretty good last season. So, if he could play like that, too, this year, this coming season, that'd be great. You know, Abram, he hasn't been... He's more of a... Yeah, he's a strong safety, but you could even play him at linebacker, too, in, in maybe, like, nickel situations. He's fast. He... Hits like a linebacker. You know, you could use him in that in that spot if you want. And get a true free safety. Like I said, I mean, if you can get Anthony Harris or Malik Hooker, that, that'd be awesome. But, yeah, I mean, just spin, spin big on defense, man. I mean, like, our offense is more than capable. Even if, and I don't want to get trashed offensive linemen, but, like, Andre James, we don't know if he comes in and, and plays pretty good. Now, I'm not expecting him to play as good as Hudson, of course. No ways. But if he can at least hold it down and say our offense doesn't dip that far down, like say our offense still, we still score a lot of points. People's going to be saying, 
Well, look at our offensive line is not even as good as last year, and we're still scoring a lot. And we invested all that money on defense, and our defense is a lot better. Imagine our offense just taking maybe a little bit of a dip, but our our defense is tremendously better. Just imagine that. That'd be that's all our that's all we needed. If our offense, if our defense gets to within the top fifteen, top twenty, in fact, I mean. Top 15, that's, we going to the playoffs. That's no doubt about it in my mind. So, that I mean, that's what I'm thinking right now is go all in on defense. Oh, we still need another running back too. But you could use that for the draft. I mean, we don't have to pick up a running back in free agency. You could draft a, a running back. Um, I haven't really paid attention to a lot of uh, running backs in the draft or offensive linemen, but... I mean, wherever you need your holes to be filled, you could use draft for that. Pick up a lot of guys in free agency. Spend big on defense because, I mean, that's what I would do if I was, if I was a general manager. I'd be like, all right, John, we need to spend big on defense. Like our offense is good enough. We need to spend money on defense. We need we need talent, especially going up against Herbert and Mahomes. I'm not even worried about Drew Lock. They suck. I mean, they're not that good. Bronco fans talk a lot of shit. I hate them. I hate they're the worst team I freaking hate in the in the damn league. More so than the Chiefs and Chargers. Now I know a lot of Raider fans that live in Cali probably hate you know the Chargers more because it's, you know they, you see them a lot more. But I hate I hate the Broncos. Their their fans are just delusional. Drew Luck, come on, who the hell is scared of Drew Luck, man? Let's get serious. But anyways, um, yeah, spend big on defense, and our offense is good enough. That's what I would do. Just spend big on defense, man. Like I said, pick up a true free safety, like maybe Malik Hooker, Anthony Harris. I know you'd be spending, like, all the names I just said on defense, if you if you were to sign them all, that's a lot of money. But imagine how freaking, imagine all those players in your defense. Now, come on. Malik Hooker, Jonathan Abram. Our linebackers, Kwiatkowski, Corey Littleton, and Nicholas Morrow. Our D-line, imagine. I know well, our, our pass rush D-line anyways would be Melvin Ingram, Yannick, uh, Cleveland Farrell, and Max Crosby. I mean, I know Max is kind of small, but being a pass rushing, a pass rushing uh, D-tackle. And imagine Sherman... And Patty P on the outside. And if you need another, like if, say, you only want to use two linebackers and add another corner, you could bring in Trayvon Mullen. You know, maybe maybe slide Sherman on the inside and have Tray, Trayvon on the outside. I don't know, man, but I, I like the possibilities with that. Imagine Trayvon being our third best corner. <laughs> that is, that's crazy. But we need our deep. I mean, that's if he's our third best corner, you know our defense is starting to get stacked. That's what I want. And Damon Arnett, imagine Damon Arnett, our fourth best corner is Damon Arnett. I'm happy with that. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. You know what you guys think about this. Uh, if you guys got different opinions, which I know everybody have different opinions. Nobody's gonna agree with me. Not every single person is gonna agree with everything that I say. They might agree with some of what I said and say, okay, I don't like this player. I argue with you on this, but not on that. Wait, just let me know. You know, we could debate. That, that's what this is. That, that's what I made this channel for. It's like, just talk about Raiders. I mean, I talk about the Lakers too once in a while, but I haven't talked about them in a while. But I've been watching free agency. It's free agency frenzy. And I don't know. I know it's kind of weird. And John Brown... Like I said, John Brown's a good pickup for cheap. And Derek Carr's going to make him look good. I believe he's going to put up good numbers. You know, 3.75 mil for a proven wide receiver. Yeah, he ain't the best receiver in the world, but he's got speed. I know we got rugs, but hey, if we got Brown too with it, you know, it's not the only fast guy we'd have. And I, one, one receiver I like that, I wish we played him more, is Rico Gafford. That dude got elite speed. Just like rugs. Imagine having those three on the field at the same time. John Brown, Rico Gafford, and Henry Ruggs. That is crazy.
Like, all those guys could torch you. <laughs> and Darren Waller, tight end. Damn. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to make this quick video about free agency pickup. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be watching to see who, who else we pick up in free agency. Hopefully, we pick up some. Well, I mean, we better load up on defense. That's all I got to say. We better load up on defense. All right, Raider fans, I'm out. Have a good day. Peace.